It's going to save you time. It's going to save your contractors time uh, because you don't have to have a discussion at each repair at each renovation. You know, okay, what are the finishes going to be for this one? Well, just look at the plan for the building and go off of the plan. It is a common saying among real estate investors that you make money when you buy, not when you sell. While this catchy phrase has value, it fails to convey how easy it is to lose money through poor property management and simply lacking a good business plan. Whether you self-manage or hire a professional, it is important to understand how to overcome the common pitfalls and challenges with rental properties. That's why you have tuned in to Maximizing Your Property Value, the apartment owner's guide to operating their rental properties as a successful investment business. I'm your host, John Stiles, real estate agent at Bridge Realty. As a current multifamily investor and former property manager myself, I understand the headaches you're going through. It's all too easy to lose your money and your mind in this business, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can find success. It takes a solid business plan. It takes tested systems. It takes key team members. And that is what this show is all about. So let's take a deep dive and maximize your property value. Hello, this is John Stiles, real estate agent with Bridge Realty. Thanks for tuning in to my channel, Real Estate Styles. And with me again today is Todd Dexheimer. Todd, thanks for joining me today. Yeah, John, appreciate you having me on. And uh, if anybody didn't tune in last time, um, just share briefly about um, your real estate experience and investing and, and a little bit of background about yourself. Sure. Um, I have been doing real estate uh, since 2008, full-time since 2010. I uh, started doing a lot of flipping, uh, did, you know, 100 plus flips, um, and then bought a lot of rentals too. Bought a lot of one to four family uh, rentals in the downturn. Uh, I have kept most of those, have sold some, bought some apartments as well during that downturn, and now I've changed my complete focus to multifamily, doing multifamily syndication, Uh, mostly out of state or actually all out of state. I would love to still buy in state, but just uh, haven't found the right deal. So been buying, uh, you know, that kind of like that hundred unit type range uh, apartment building. All right. Well, great, Todd. I appreciate having you and all your experience on my show here. So uh, if you didn't check out my last video, what I'm doing now is a series on maximizing your property value. And this is specifically geared for apartment owners. Of course, you could apply a lot of these principles and ideas to other types of real estate. But today we're gonna talk about standardizing your finishes and appliances. So um, the reason that you might wanna There's several reasons, of course, that we're going to go into that you might want to standardize your finishes. Um, And so just a couple of examples of what finishes I'm talking about. Um, These are going to be the anything from the toilets in the apartment to the light switches to the paint colors, um, appliance brands, uh, size of tiles. Um, Todd, what's some of the other finishes you might uh, think of for this example? I, I mean, honestly, it, it's, it's really, it's everything. I mean, it, your, your furnace, you know, your AC, your, uh, your kitchen fixtures, uh, bathroom fixtures, mirrors, like just really everything, your flooring, everything down to anything that you can visually see. It, it's so much easier if you standardize that stuff. Yeah. So yeah, the couple of things, for example, uh, light switches. So with a light switch, you can, or you can have different colors. You could have a white light switches or you could have ivory light switches. And of course, there's lots of other ones, but those are the main two that you see. Um, so if you send in your handyman to do a repair and he doesn't know what your standard is, he might you might have white all over, but he might just go to the store and buy ivory. And then suddenly you've got a mismatched uh, light switch. And, and so that one mismatch, you know, that's not a big deal. It's just one little section. But uh, when you're looking at an apartment building as a whole, uh, if, if there's lots of mismatched uh, light switches, then it can start to really stand out. 
so uh, that's just one example of of why you might want to uh, standardize it so that it can look more consistent. Another reason that you might want to standardize your finishes is to get uh, bulk pricing and to reduce your expense costs. So, Todd, have you experienced uh, better pricing because of bulk, buying in bulk at all? Yeah, for sure, absolutely. I mean, if you can, it, it, and, and also just a consistency. I mean, everything, If you, the, the larger building you have, the, the easier it's going to be with the bulk pricing, for sure. I mean, you get, you get a lot better deals when you're buying. Uh, and it doesn't matter who you're buying from, Home Depot, Menards, uh, or some, some of the other suppliers. Everybody's going to give you better pricing if you can buy, you know, 100 light fixtures. Um, and they're all the same and it, yeah. And plus it's easier because they can, they've got their set price. They've knocked it down as far as they go. And you just, you give them your material list and say, this is what I need. Bam. I need light fixtures. You don't have to go and pick it out. Right. Right. Yeah. That's, that's another good example. It's going to save you time. It's going to save your contractors time uh, because you don't have to have a discussion at each repair at each renovation, you know, okay, what are the finishes going to be for this one? Well, just look at the plan for the building and go off of the plan. So it's going to save everybody a lot of time. Yeah. I mean, you mentioned the, the electrician replacing a switch or the maintenance guy, whatever, replacing a switch. It's super easy if you've already got a SKU number for the switch and the, so the electrician or maintenance guy, whatever, can go to your master list and they can go light switch, bam, this is one, okay, boom, and we order it. Or simple as this is the, the electrician goes and makes a list of what they need, light switch, three of them, um, cover plates, 12 of them, and they give that to, to uh, whoever deals with uh, the orders and that gets sent in and then it gets delivered. And now you've got everything you need right on site, ready for the electrician to go. And we know, we know what we have. Yep. That's great. Hey, I want to interrupt the show quick to tell you about an exciting opportunity to take your real estate investing career to the next level. I'm talking about the North Star Real Estate Conference that's coming up September 20th and 21st of 2019 in the Twin Cities. At this conference, we'll have both local and national speakers covering topics such as syndicating apartment deals, crowdfunding, getting started in commercial real estate, business mindset, and so much more. Aside from the amazing speakers, what makes this conference great is that the proceeds from the event are dedicated to charity. Now, for a limited time, if you enter my last name as a promo code at checkout, you can get $100 off your ticket for the weekend. Again, type in S-T-I-L-E-S for $100 off your ticket. Just follow the link in the show notes, and I hope to see you there. Now, let's get back to the show. Another thing, uh, type of material that we'll use often in an apartment is paint. So oftentimes, you know, you're going to have a little bit left over. You know, it's, it's hard to buy the exact amount of paint that you need for a wall or for an apartment. Um, so oftentimes there is, is leftover paint. So what happens to that leftover paint? Do you store it in the basement? Do you throw it out, recycle it or whatever? Um, you know, that potentially you could be creating a lot of waste if you're always choosing a new color and always looking for a new product. Well, and, and with, uh, with turns as well, right? Every time you have a turn, if you know what paint is being used. It's quick, it's easy, you can use the leftovers. They go to the storage area or wherever that the materials are kept, the extra materials are kept. Grab what's there. Uh, you've got, you know, we know that it's uh, whatever, this, this natural gray or whatever it is. And we, we painted that color and that's it. And then we can do paint touch-ups too. You know, if, we, if we've got, I've got, uh, you know, like 60 some uh, houses uh, or, we're one to four families and they're every single thing is painted the same. Every single property is painted the same. We got, I got all the same fixtures in all of them, everything, all the same uh, furnace filter sizes, all that. So it, it's really easy when my painter comes in and paints because he just grabs the same paint. 
It's the same paint. That doesn't matter. Yep. Um, and that goes especially well with an apartment building because then the paint can be stored right there and it's really easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're not always having this question, well, we can try to match the paint, but it may not be a good match, you know. Right. And, and sometimes it doesn't work perfect because sometimes they do change their um, ingredients within the paint. So it does change slightly. Um, but, you know, that, that doesn't happen very often. So, so yeah. for the most part, we're good and we can just keep on painting. As long as, 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 long as you continue exact same paint, it's got to be the exact same paint and the exact same, um, is it called sheen? Right, um, right. That as well. So, Yeah, uh, I'm curious for the properties that you have all the same, do you have different sheens for the bathroom versus the living oh. room or all the same sheen? All the same. Yep. All the same. I have different sheens for the trim versus the walls. Okay. That's it. You know, tri trim is a semi-gloss. Walls are, I don't know, eggshell or something like that. I sure. don't even know what they, they are. But that's it. We don't, we don't change per room. And, and uh, sure, best practice is to change. But it's not going to say it's going to cost us money in the end. Yeah. So. so then, of course, if you do have leftover materials, be sure to label it, um, especially the paints, so that it's clear what it's for and, uh, you know, that you can reuse it necessary mm -hmm. yep so, absolutely so at the very beginning of owning your property or maybe if you're even if you've owned it for a while but you're just starting to think uh, in this way um, you might consider consulting with your contractor or with a interior designer or you know or the leasing agents just to see what the in materials are the in finishes are these days Yep. Of course, those do change over time. So you might want to, you might need to update this occasionally. Right. Eventually you're going to have to change your lists, right? <laughs> but right. Uh, for, for, you know, you do a, you renovate some units or change out light fixtures or whatever. It's not going to become outdated in, in you know, a Couple year, <laughs> right? It's going to take, you know, many years. Yep. Yep. So, so. Yeah, it's definitely, so it's a little bit work, more work on the front end, but once you have that plan set in place, then everything goes a lot smoother going forward. And, you know, this is going to save you time. This is going to save you money and things are going to look a lot better in your apartment building. The, the other thing, John, um, is just repairs too. We talk about, you talked about uh, using the same product. Uh, if you've got all the same, you know, all the Delta 100 uh, kitchen fixtures. And we know that uh, one leaks and we know that we have to replace this little gasket inside of it. And it's a $10 part and labor takes, you know, 10 minutes to do. Well, instead of replacing the faucet, we just replace that one little gasket. And now with the next one leaks, we know exactly what to do. Super easy. We just go in and pop in that new gasket and we're done. Where if you've got a Delta fixture and then a price fixture and then a mowing and then, you know, this and that, well, it's all different. The install's different. The, the extra parts are different, all that kind of stuff. Same thing with the furnace, you know. It, and, and then the maintenance people can have extra parts on uh, right on site. You know, some of these maintenance people are really handy where they can – you got one Delta fixture, maybe uh, the tenant cranked on it and the thing snapped. Well, some of these maintenance people are very, uh, very good at like keeping, they, they would pop that off, they'd keep it because they know there's extra parts that they can reuse. And so when something else breaks, instead of going to replace it, they can just fix it and they've got the parts for it because everything's the same because uh, you pre-planned. You, you mentioned too about it taking more time it takes a little bit more time up front to get your list down. But after that, everything is way, way faster. Right. Yep. So yeah, definitely uh, consider implementing this in your own apartment business. And if you are interested in other ways to maximize your property value, go ahead and give me a call. My phone number is 612-554-7794. And as I mentioned at the beginning, I'm a real estate agent with Bridge Realty, and I'm excited to help you maximize your property value. Thanks, Todd, for being on the show today. Awesome. Thanks, John. Talk to you next time. Yep. 
The opinions shared on this show are for informational purposes only and should not be taken as a solicitation for representation or investment in any specific offering. Please consult with your financial, legal, tax, and real estate advisor before making any investment decisions. John Stiles is a licensed Minnesota real estate agent with Bridge Realty. Thanks for tuning in to Maximizing Your Property Value, the apartment owner's guide to operating rental properties as a successful business. If you're considering scaling up, downsizing, or right-sizing your real estate investment portfolio, it's important to know how to determine your property's value in today's market. That's why I've put together a free ebook for you called How to Calculate Your Investment Property's Value. To get your copy, go to www.realestatestyles.com forward slash value. Now, if you found any value in today's show, be sure to subscribe to our email newsletter, YouTube channel, and podcast through your favorite podcast player. All the links are in the show notes. And would you do me a big favor? Help me get the word out about this show by sharing with your friends on Facebook and LinkedIn. And lastly, we appreciate your five-star rating on iTunes. I really appreciate you and wish you the best in your real estate investing career. Signing off, I'm John Stiles with Bridge Realty. Make it a great day.